Right now at six, upset parents and teachers are worried their voices won't be heard on the possible payout for the outgoing head of Prince George's County Schools. Dr. Kevin Maxwell has announced he's going to be leaving the school system at the end of the school year next month. Well, the first public board meeting after his announcement, it's going to be this Thursday. And new at six, Hillary Lane tells us that meeting is going to take place right smack in the middle of the day. And that's going to make it kind of hard for a lot of people who work to show up. It's ridiculous and it's outrageous. Yvonne Basich is a physical education teacher in the district. She wants to urge the Board of Education to vote against a severance package for Dr. Maxwell. But the meeting is scheduled for one in the afternoon. Teachers can't show up. They can't really take a sick day. Dr. Kevin Maxwell announced last week he was transitioning out of the school system. He is not resigning. He is not quitting. He's leaving before the November election for county executive when he'll have a new boss and a number of candidates have made it clear they want a new CEO. By doing this, Maxwell is positioning himself to negotiate a big severance package, even though he's been at the center of multiple scandals. His payout could total over $1 million, according to board members. The Board of Education negotiates the severance package. So why is the meeting where the public can voice their concerns being held in the middle of the day? The Board of Education, whose majority has been friendly to Dr. Maxwell, sets the dates of the meetings in the beginning of the school year. While there are still evening meetings, some of the meetings this year, including this month, have been moved up to 1 p.m. We did a quick check of some of the big school systems in the area. For comparison, all D.C. public board meetings are held at 5.30 p.m. Fairfax County Board of Education meets twice a month at 7 p.m. Montgomery County Board of Education, though, did hold a meeting at 10 a.m. this morning. According to Prince George's County Minority Block board member Ed Burroughs, a daytime meeting is problematic. At our evening meetings, um, we have a lot of public comment. Uh, we have parents, we have teachers, we have even students that come and participate in our evening meetings. Unfortunately, when it's during the day, we don't have that same level of community engagement. Now, the school district says moving some of the board meetings up to 1 p.m. was done to accommodate more people's schedules. But the teachers and parents I spoke to want this public meeting moved back to the evening time so the public is actually able to turn out. Yeah, the whole point of a public meeting is to actually be able to solicit public comments so our elected officials know what to do. So we want to make sure that this meeting is in front of as many people as possible. Right, so we're actually planning on live streaming this on WSA9.com. We want you to be able to see exactly what happens. But Adam, of course, the point of the meeting is for people to get out and voice their concerns, and we can't make that happen. It's really impossible to do if you're sitting behind a computer screen. Right, great point. We look forward to your reporting on that. Hillary, thank you.